This video is brought to you by Envato Elements. Adobe Illustrator, an awesome piece of software that I learned within a week years ago. In this video, I want to talk about creating icons that can be used for graphic design and motion graphics. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film, and if you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. So we're gonna continue doing some more graphic design type tutorials that can be used for you know, design or motion graphics. So in this video, we're gonna focus in specifically on creating this one specific coffee cup icon. But this tutorial is great. If you're new to Adobe Illustrator, you can learn all the handful of tools that you need to know to create your own icons. So let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. Let's learn a whole bunch of cool tools and let's get started. Okay, we got Adobe Illustrator here and here's the coffee cup we'll be creating and you know, we're creating a coffee cup because who doesn't drink coffee? Actually, I don't drink coffee. That's why I'm always tired. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the point in this tutorial. So when you want to create icons, it's good to have an idea of what you're creating, obviously, um, and being able to break down individual shapes because everything done in Adobe Illustrator is mostly done in shapes. Of course, there's custom paths, but for what we're doing here, this is all done completely with using shapes. So you can see there's rectangles here. There's a circle. There's like a half circle and another rectangle for this, you know, icon coffee cup. So how do we do this? Let's go ahead and grab our shapes here on the left side. There'll be a rectangle. And we'll start with the circle of the coffee cup. So we'll grab the ellipse tool here and we'll draw out a perfect circle by holding down shift on our keyboard. And we'll get a circle like this. And here is going to be the bowl of our coffee cup. And then what we we'll want to do is cut this in half. And what we can do to cut this in half is grab the rectangle tool here and come here to the halfway point in the circle and just create a rectangle that's going to cover up the top part of that circle there. Then what we want to do is like both of these shapes and you can just click and drag them like this and then what we'll do is come here to the pathfinder if you don't see the pathfinder go up to window and click on pathfinder and there's going to be this minus button right here under shape modes and click that please and boom now you got a half shape right there a half circle very easy to do now that's one quick way of doing that now we need to create some other shapes here. So once again, let's go ahead and grab, say, the ellipse tool. And this time, instead of creating a full circle like this, let's keep that layer selected. Grab the selection tool, select it, and we'll come here to the top where the fill is at, and we'll set this to none. Then we'll come here to stroke here, and we'll do like that same color. And then we increase the stroke, stroke width. And then we can make this a little bit smaller by holding down shift and alt on our keyboard. And then we'll move this right here onto the edge of our cup. Nice. Very cool. And essentially both of these shapes can be combined together. And what we'll do here is grab our circle that we created, go to object, expand, and make sure fill and stroke are selected. Actually, you really just need stroke selected, but click OK. And now this won't be a stroke anymore. This is one separate shape on its own. And we can select both these shapes and go back to the pathfinder and we'll set this to unite. And now we have this as one shape. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and grab, say, our rectangle tool. So go to the shapes, grab the rectangle tool. Make sure the fill is back on and the stroke is off. And simply we'll draw some steam coming out of here. And there's a rectangle. Make it a little bit smaller. Perfect. And we'll just move this over. And then what we can do is hold down Alt on our keyboard and click it. And we can just move this over. And this will create a duplicate. And then we'll do it one more time. And we'll make this one a little bit longer. And if you move it over, there should be guides to tell you what's going to be in the center. And boom, that's completely centered up. Awesome. And then we'll do like a little plate here with another rectangles and we can keep this all symmetrical. Beautiful. Nice. Very cool. And now we can select all of our shapes here, our paths. And we'll go up to object and we'll click on group. And now everything will be grouped together when you click it. And... You know, that's how you can create a cool little icon. Now, this is like, an, so this tutorial was just like an intro, how to use some of the tools here. And, you know, you basically have the idea of how this works. Over here in Avado Elements, and there's tons of icons over here. And what I suggest doing when you want to create any other type of icon and you're just learning, go ahead and take a look at other icons. What I suggest doing is break down the individual elements. So this little, little film reel here is all a bunch of circles right so it's pretty much very easy to learn how to do this sort of stuff if you're able to break down work and speaking about Envato elements where you can download unlimited icons just for example you can download over a million stock elements from stock videos to after effects templates and premiere templates to music and sound effects for your videos photos for your website or graphic design projects or even for your videos as well 
and even website templates. So if you use WordPress or if you design websites with HTML, you also have access to this. And so your Envato Elements is your one price will cover all your creative asset expenses, whether you are a video producer, a website designer, a graphic designer, or a motion graphic artist. Envato Elements has everything you need to succeed. So if you want to check out Envato Elements and learn more about it, you can go ahead and check our links in the video description. So hopefully now you have a little bit of an understanding of how Adobe Illustrator works or how to create some icons inside of Illustrator. So hopefully you did enjoy this video and found it helpful. If, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always be creating.